Hello, my name is Genosis, and welcome to Not A Gamer Gaming. This is episode 4 of our Prefab Editor tutorial series, and today we're going to discuss zombie placement and sleeper volumes. Before we begin, go ahead, click like and subscribe if you have not already, and click that notification bell so, you, so we know when to shovel more videos onto your face. Now let's begin. Now, zombie placement and sleeper volumes likely the moment you've all been waiting for to make your build your prefabs alive or undead i guess all right let's uh, grab some zombies let's open up the creative menu type in zombie actually sorry sleeper i almost forgot what they're called let's uh get rid of these we don't need these right now let's go ahead and grab some of these we got sleepers sitting on their back on their side stomach standing upright uh, let's use those for now. The rest are pretty descriptive. Okay, let's go ahead and select some of these zombies. Now, we'll cover this more under a later video when we're putting all of our lessons together about zombie placement. Let's put some down. Here, set a dude here doing some barbecuing. I think I have him wearing a apron saying, you know, kiss the cook. That's, that's what I put here. Um, this dude's this dude's had too much to drink. There, and this dude is just chilling. Okay, looks pretty good. But those are duds. Those will not do anything if you load up this world and try to play it, because they're not in a sleeper volume. They do not have any activity whatsoever. A sleeper volume will activate the zombies and allow you to set certain properties such as how many are going to appear, what kinds of zombies are going to, they're going to be. Let's go ahead and create a sleeper volume. Now, a key we haven't covered yet is F6. This is our spawn entities menu. Uh, normally this is more for testing gameplay, spawning live animals, but today we're gonna use this and this only, creating, creating a sleeper volume. This creates a uh, kind of a basic shape. You will use our selection editing uh, tools that we learned earlier and create a sleeper volume. Now, I usually like creating the volume a little wider because they tend to only spawn in when you enter a volume. So make it nice and wide. There we go. Now, two things you're going to notice here. The zombies you've selected are all lit up. This is called the zombie or yeah, sleeper x-ray. You can toggle that on and off under the level tools. Actually, that's only if you can't see them. There, sleeper x-ray. It's pretty simple. If you don't want to show the sleeper volumes at all, you're done working with volumes, toggle that off too. Now to work with it, just click on select your volume and press the letter K. Now that's another key I haven't discussed yet. The letter K, it controls the properties of just about anything you're looking at. So for right now, it's going to control our sleeper volumes. Now we show we have four sleepers in this area. Let's say we want to only have two to three show up. You can select that here. What kind of zombies do you want? Uh, do you want bikers? Do you want generic zombies, which would be your usual cheerleaders and your mows? Do you want some utility workers? Or maybe it's say uh, all businessmen. Let's say this is a company picnic. Just hit escape to end exit and that's done. Simple as that. Again, hit K, brings it back up. Now, let's say we want to work with more zombies. Let's make a little surprise for whoever shows up here. There. Now, let's say you want this volume to be separate. Let's say you want more of them or different types of zombies to be there. Go ahead and clear your selection here, the backspace. Uh, we're going to hit F6, create another sleeper volume. That looks about right. You can resize it if you want to. Keep it nice and neat. There. Now we're going to press the letter K again. Let's say you want to be surprised with a uh, just a generic group of zombies. Now let's, uh, let's make a, a good hefty amount of them just to throw, uh, throw you around for a loop. Done. Now you have two volumes. These are independent. They will spawn based on different rules and that will help control the experience that your players are going to have. So we should move that one a little bit over here. There we go. Okay. Now let's go ahead and do a quick play test just to see what this is going to look like. I'm just going to adjust our ground. 
level, move it up, and then we're gonna hide our we go, hide our ground level. And we're gonna save this. Done. Now we're gonna play test this. We'll cover this more in detail later, but let's do a quick play test. Here we go. We have a trader Joel right here to talk to for testing. We have some basic loot. Let's grab all that. There's some armor. Got a compound bow. Got a gun. Some basic testing stuff. Don't see zombies off in the distance, but when you enter the volume, there they are. So that's why you want to be careful with your sleeper volumes. That you want to create them large enough so when you enter the area they appear, but tight enough that they don't spawn in when they don't want them to. Because you don't want them to load all kinds of zombies for performance as well as you're fumbling through a POI. You don't want everything, absolutely everything to wake up when they're not supposed to. We made a ton of noise. That would wake up our fellows up there. But they didn't. Because that volume doesn't stretch down here. So let's go into debug mode. Take a look up here. Now we enter the volume. Now that's kind of a lesson to learn here in design. That make sure your volume stretch where they need to be activated. Enter the area. Made some noise. Now they're awake. Down they come. That's it. Well, this guy. Whoa! You know what? I want to have fun with him. Make a sledgehammer. Oh, you dropped down. Gosh darn it. There we go. Not wrecking our stuff. Bye, buddy. Oh, that had no distance whatsoever. Anyways, that was our little playtest, and that's how you make zombie volumes. That's all we're going to cover today. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, click that notification bell, and I thank you again for watching. Mm -hmm.